Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an ASUS ROG Strix G Series gaming laptop. The exact model that I'm using is on your screen. It's one of the G531 GT series. I'm going to show you how you can add an additional solid state drive or hard drive to this computer. There is a place where you can add an additional SATA 2.5 inch drive there. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way, make sure that it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip the computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now this computer has quite a lot of screws on the bottom. You'll see these four on the top edge of your screen, these four on the bottom edge, and these three in the middle. Once you get those screws out guys, you're gonna take a small flat preferably plastic pry tool because plastic tends to scratch your cases less than metal does, but some sort of plastic pry tool like a guitar pick. And you're gonna go around the entire edge of your computer and gently, slowly, but firmly pry off the bottom case from the computer. Now be careful not to put your pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components, but just keep it on the edge. Even if you have to take a couple passes around, and even if one side gets stuck, leave it, go on the other side, keep going around until you get that bottom case off. Now, once your bottom case comes loose, guys, don't just rip it off. If you notice here, I have my bottom case just set up a little bit and set down. The reason for that are these two ribbon cables right here. They're attached from your bottom case to your motherboard. And if you rip off your bottom case, you'll damage those ribbon connector ports. So we wanna take these off and then we can remove our bottom case entirely. Now these type of ribbon cable connectors, there's a high potential for breaking them and then no longer being able to use them. So I'm gonna play a clip right now showing you how you can maneuver these type of ribbon cable clips. Okay, so to take a ribbon cable out of this kind of connector, first you have your ribbon cable here, you have the port on the motherboard, and then you have this retainer clip over here, this clip opens and shuts like a book cover. It opens from this side and the hinges are on this side. So in order to get that up, be very careful, take a small flat pry tool, slide it underneath and pop it up like that. And then the ribbon cable can come out. After taking the ribbon cable out, I like to put it back down for safekeeping so it doesn't get caught on anything and rip. These are very, very breakable, these retainer clips. And if you break it, you're most likely not gonna be able to find a replacement, um, in which case your ribbon cable won't be able to uh, secure down anymore, so be very careful. To get the retainer clip back in, you would pop it up again very carefully. You would slide the ribbon cable in, nice and flush. It may take a few times if you're not used to it getting it flush, and then just snap the retainer clip down and that's how you would operate that kind of clip. So once those are unplugged and your bottom case has been removed, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now before touching anything in a computer, guys, my goal is to make the computer as safe to work on as possible, which means the first thing I always do is remove or at least unplug the battery. Also, I tend to have my computer sitting on an anti-static pad in my shop. Either that or an anti-static bracelet go a long way to making the computer safe to work on. So if you guys need any help with tools or supplies like that, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll show you some tools and supplies that I use for my projects. But now I'll show you how to get that battery out or again, at least unplug it. You have these four screws here that you remove to actually remove the battery from the computer. And the battery port is here to unplug it. So this type of battery port, check yours out guys. You'll notice it's a two part clip. You're gonna push that top part up, slide it up toward your fan, get it away from the rest of the clip and that will release this clip. And then you can just pop it off straight up and out of your computer. That's how you would remove that battery. That's how you would unplug it from the motherboard. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, we're safer to proceed deeper into the computer. This is the area we're working on here for the additional SATA drive, right down here in the corner. As you can see here, guys, there's a ribbon cable connector labeled hard drive on your motherboard. That's where the hard drive connector will go in. You'll have to purchase this. This is a hard drive caddy and this is how it sits into this model. There'll be a screw there, 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 and there. 
this is how it would sit in there. You'd have to put the SATA drive, the 2.5 inch hard drive or solid state drive. You'd sit it into this caddy and you would use a connector to plug in here and go all the way here to the hard drive port. I'll have a link above, also below in the description to all the replacement and upgrade parts you can get for this computer. And in that link, I'll have this set here, um, this hard drive kit. It'll have the caddy, the screws, and the hard drive connector with the ribbon cable that plugs in here. I'll also try to put in some suggestions for actual hard drive, solid state drive upgrades for this. But that's a cool little place where you can add an additional hard drive or solid state drive. So if you have any questions, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I try to get to those at least a couple times a day. So I hope this helped you out. I hope it helped you get into the computer um, and hopefully add some storage, make your gaming experience a little better. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.